sometimes I'm going to show you some real ish from time to time. Now, stories like this, you guys might not care about it, but when we talk about the future, the future is now, right? You see the headline and I was surprised it was on spiritual word because I wasn't looking for a story like this, but it says a record number of office buildings will be converted into apartments in 2024 due to companies closing down. Now, the reason why this headline is funny to me is because people have been warning about this situation 10 years ago. <laughs> you know, the Alex Jones, the, you know, people like that, that, oh, they, these, these are a conspiracy theorists, right? People, it is not like for me, obviously I knew about this, like actually way more than 10 years ago in my case, but I remember people of the nation of Islam, literally, literally you got people like Riza Islam, Riza Islam, right? They, they literally have gave us the warning signs Look, you have these buildings, right, that something is going to happen where they're not going to need the commoners anymore in these offices. And what's going to happen is they're going to convert these these vacant office spaces and they're just going to turn them into apartments. Right. And for some reason, people are way too slow with this information, because as I look at the comment section, people are talking about, oh, they're going to turn this into homeless housing. No, they're not. They're going to people think they're going to turn these apartments into affordable housing. No, they're not. and then somebody's talking about lower the rent in the comment section. I'm like, these guys or somebody's going to say rent is going to be under uh, is going to be five hundred. No, 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 no. Guys, because since nobody can afford houses anymore, they're going to up the prices on these apartments. So basically, <clears throat> Connecticut apartment pricing, right, is very expensive. That's going to be basically nationwide. <laughs> That's not just only going to be like a, a California uh, uh, pricing or, or just a New York apartment. Pri like New York apartment pricing is going to be nationwide. This is the future. The future is now. This is why people back then was telling you, hey, you might want to get into real estate now. Right. And I remember like in 2016, 2017, people were telling us this. And, you know, people were dragging their feet, including me. Right. But the future is now. You need to have, I hope. To, to say to have a plan now, it might be too late. I'm just saying because I, I, I um, it's just because the future is now. I was listen. I remember listening to uh, Sandman for uh, uh, for a while now, and I remember recently listening to him when uh, him and Undead Chronic had a live stream, and he was telling us how with AI, right? AI is going to change things exponentially, not multiply. Like when we say, "Oh, this is going to be a, a multiple thing." No, when you're talking about an exponential increase, right? Let's take it literally, right? What's nine? Okay, let's take <laughs> let's take a real example. Nine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, six to the second power, right? That's six times six, thirty-six. Now, what's six times six times six? That's what ninety-six. Now, what's six times six times six times six? You see, you see, you see, you see where I'm going? It's gonna be an exponential increase, basically. That's what he was saying of changes. That is, is it's it's just that the, the change is going to skyrocket. So I will say this. If you do not have a trade, a, a skill, right. um, A degree in accounting, um, architecture, right. A uh, 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 doctor um, and even lawyer might not be safe anymore. What do the AI? They've already tested AI lawyers. They've, they've already tested robot lawyers, uh, uh, you know, and. Guys, even they've tested self drive. Um, even truck drivers are not safe with this AI, right? Um, they've they've already tested self driving trucks. They've already tested this. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of other like the job uh, cashiers not safe anymore because everything if they're gonna turn everything cashless, there's gonna be no need for cashiers. They're just gonna have everybody doing self checkout, or they'll just have people just monitor people at self checkout, which makes no sense to me. Because with the the whole stealing epidemic and um whatever, but I think that's a that's a setup to so so they can they can they can try something else. So you have AI taking a lot of people's jobs, and I'll say this: this is where this comes back to women. There are a lot of women that have these cushy jobs, right? These I call these filler jobs, right? And when it's when it's time to make cuts, it seems like women are the most affected because they pick the certain. Uh, soft skills, soft jobs where they're in these offices. Right. And when it's time to make cuts, they're the first to go. Now, 
all those 304s that have been bragging on their job in HR and all this stuff in the office, basically just scheduling and planning meetings and whatnot at best. Right. Soft skills developing and all this stuff. They've been bragging on their status, how much money they making over ninjas and whatnot. And they're going to be the first. A lot of them are going to be the first one to be out now. <laughs> and they're going to be. It's, it's going to be interesting. The next from now to 2030 is going to be the most interesting six years that we're probably going to witness these because with especially with AI coming in and stealing jobs immigrants are going to come in and take all those little jobs that you think is beneath you they're going to take all those jobs right it's going to be an interesting next six years so hopefully your investments are good make sure you, you got a plan make sure you have a, a legit skill that cannot be replaced by ai you know what i mean let's see some of the comment section right here we said what's that rent going to be looking like because some of those buildings have really nice um, those the rent is going to be high because people can't afford houses anymore. So people's everybody's going to be in uh, basically the projects are going to be everywhere. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. The projects, you know, people talk about project buildings. We're basically it's going to be everybody's going to be living in the projects. Everybody in the future is basically the projects are going to be everywhere. They're just going to they're just going to um, make it look good. But it's basically going to be the projects everywhere with up with 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 house mortgage type payments every month penthouse me for the cheap please thanks no nah, that's not gonna happen it might start off cheap but it's gonna <laughs> oh man and he said and how expensive will it be very expensive he says so many people about to work from the comfort you see these people there they don't they don't realize what's happening they don't realize what's happening <laughs> they don't realize what's happening ai exactly ai is taking over everything they don't realize I don't think yeah, normies don't don't see this. What, what's what's happening? The reason why I don't the reason why I don't even cover topics like this is because it's just too much normies because they they have no clue. Even look, man, let me tell you something before even before the uh, pandemic. I remember, dude, I remember anybody that watches the Corey Holcomb 5150 show or follows Riza Islam. He was literally I'm talking about 2018 or 2019, I believe. But I think it was the end of 2018. He was literally saying, and, and people from the Nation of Islam, they've been saying this for a, for a while, but he was literally like, look, there's going to be a time where something's going to happen health-wise and people are going to have to take shots that they don't want. <laughs> they, gonna, Riz Islam was saying this in like 2018 or 2019 and even before that, but particularly 2018, he said, people, you're going to have to have, and if you don't want to take the shots, I have this PDF document <laughs> that you can write so you can excuse yourself and your family for not taking shots. And he ba and specifically, he said, if you don't take these shots, they're going to they're not going to allow you to travel. They're not going to allow you to work. They're not going to allow you to go to school. And I was dragging my damn feet on that shit. I, I still regret that to this day, because for me to get around that during that time, I had to rely on some street ninjas to help me out on that. And <laughs> I'm, not even gonna, I'm talking about if without the streets in 2020, 2021. I would have been making no money on the road for, for music. And I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to just leave it, at, leave it at that. Street ninjas helped me out big time during um, the pandemic because I dragged my feet on that ish. Right. And I could have been prepared. So, guys, make sure you are preparing yourselves for this. This is not the time. Like Coach Greg Adams has, has said, this is not the time to take on dead weight. Right. Look. If you want a relationship at this time, I feel you, but just understand what's going on and why this is happening. Because just not too long ago, these 304s were bragging about how they making more than ninjas, how how they, they set up financially more than ninjas. Times are going to be, these are going to be a very interesting six years. These are going to be very interesting six years. Just letting, let, just letting you guys know, just letting you guys know. And also another thing, people, unfortunately in this RP space, um, there's a lot of dudes that have this um and I'm not taking no shots at anyone but I'm just I'm just telling you the reality. There's a lot of dudes that are that are like oh man once you know once the economics change they're going to be they're going to be crawling right back to us, you know, the girl the girls that they're, the girls that they're talking about. They think that oh, you know, girls are going to be back on their knees uh, saying we're sorry and all. that's not going to happen, guys. That's never going to happen. What's just going to happen is if if bullish just uh, jumps off they're just going to turn into Tradcon wives. That's what's just going to happen. They're not going to say sorry. 
for pushing men away. They're just going to revert back to what they what they what they used to do. Right. So now now you're seeing also like the rise. You, I'm seeing even former OnlyFans girls turning traditional and wearing tradcon dresses and whatnot, tricking dudes. So just understand when you see stuff like that, that means the economics are changing. It's all about economics. So you guys got to uh, be wary of this. You guys got to or if you still like like there's nothing wrong with taking a relationship. Just understand what it is. Just understand what's going on. A lot of this is due to economics. Right. So, um, yeah, that's that's about it. You know, share your opinion in the comment section. I could be wrong. We could talk about it in the comment section. <laughs>